Okay, we've been telling you about Tanya McDowell. She's the single homeless mother who stands accused of stealing her son's public education. Tanya McDowell is a Connecticut mother jailed for what authorities call stealing an education. That is for registering her son, AJ, at an address not in the school district where she last lived before becoming homeless. In April of 2011, Connecticut police arrested McDowell and charged her with first-degree larceny for allegedly stealing an education for her son, AJ. So your son was in Head Start. Right. What kind of a student was he in Head Start? He was good. Yeah. Good student. Yeah. Yeah. You saw a lot of promise in him? I saw a lot of progress. I saw a lot of potential in him. I saw a lot of, like, um, just intelligence and, like, uh, talent. So what did you do next? So next I did was I went to like a local uh, school office where they they basically like are the ones who place all the children mm -hmm. in like the school that they're supposed closer, to go to. They're supposed to go to. So I didn't know anything about uh, Brookside Elementary without someone telling me about it. So when I went over there, the lady told me, she was like, basically like, okay, he could go to this school. Was it a school board? It was like, yeah. Right. Okay, what about Brookside did you like? I like the fact that it was less uh, student in the classroom. Mm -hmm. You could get more one-on-one -on -one attention. I also like the fact that it was uh, parent-teacher friendly. Register my son, my son started school stayed in school, doing great in school, um, never miss a day of school. Mm -hmm. Everything was just like going fine. So um, on the paperwork that you filled out, what address did you use? The address I use when I fill out the paperwork is my God Kids mother. Mm -hmm. So this is someone you're very close someone to? Someone I'm very close with, someone I know for many, many years. So how long was your son in school? Um, at the school that you preferred for him before your your troubles began? As I recall, it was like during like winter. Mm -hmm. So I want to say like between January, February. What year? Uh, 2011. And so tell me what happens on what? one Friday, he comes home from school. It's a normal weekend, I'm assuming. And yeah, it's a normal weekend. And then what home. happens Monday? So we woke up that Monday, ate breakfast, put everything that he needs for school, for that's on his agenda and stuff. And then we just went to Brookside. And then when I drove all the way over there, they told me that he was no longer um, enrolled there. I would have to find a new school. So did they tell you what they expected you to do with AJ? No, they said I gotta find the right school mm -hmm. district for him. And that's when I enrolled him the same day to a school in Bridgeport. When did your legal troubles begin? Someone told me that, um, oh, someone looking for you. They had your picture on a piece of paper. So I was like, what? They are like, the cops are looking for you. And she was like, I think you have a warrant. So I was like, a warrant for what? I said, I don't have no warrant. So I said, okay, I'll go find out what it's about. But then when I showed up and they were like, oh, you, um, you're you gonna be arrested for larceny? I said, larceny for what? I didn't steal anything. They were like, yeah, you did, you stole education. I started like, I was like, what? Yeah. I thought it was like something for like student loans. But for sending my son to school, that was the least you were pretty stunned. Yeah, I was like, so, unbelievable. I never heard of that before. Was it a policeman who told you this? Yeah. Did they arrest you in that moment? Yeah, they had me in a cell and everything. They put you in a jail cell? So, yeah, to wait while they did the um, paperwork. After the larceny charges were filed, undercover Connecticut police additionally charged McDowell with four counts of drug trafficking, charges she and her lawyer adamantly deny. Now facing 115 years behind bars, McDowell did what she thought was best for her son and accepted a plea offer on all of the charges brought against her by the government. The reason why I think um, Tanya's case is important is because one, it highlights that the education system in America needs to be fixed. It highlights the fact that uh, poor people of all colors, all races, should have equal education, right? Second reason why is her case is important is because it highlights the fact that the system has been so broken that parents long ago have done the same thing that Tanya did. But for some reason today, black mothers in particular are being arrested. McDowell served three years out of a five-year sentence in a women's prison in Connecticut. I believe that my son had all the rights to be in that school. He didn't get in trouble in that school. He had perfect attendance. He he was doing everything right. Mm -hmm. And I feel like he should be deprived of an education just because of your color of your skin, where you live, 
just because you're not in the league with everybody else and who pay more taxes, it doesn't matter. McDowell has about a year and a half left on her sentence.